the revolutionary soldier this one revolutionary soldier and here he is he's a very nice soldier with um like this white thing at the back <laughs> his wig like thingy and this um a blue ribbon at first when i first saw him i never knew he had this long blue ribbon at the back but now i know he does and you also can look at his shirt quite nice there's a little red thing inside and his gun is a cool gun looks like a blunderbuss to me but i don't really know my guns so or uh, in the comments below you can tell me what kind of gun it is as i really want to know so if you want to feel him you can feel for his gun his gun and you also can feel for to be sure it's his gun feel for the hole on top here see and you also can feel for his hat but not to get confused with the mechanic as i felt a lot of mechanics but i didn't really want one so the next up on our list will be the baseball fielder see baseball fielder here he is a very um can be a disappointing character for most of you and for most of you is a good character to your new baseball team so he has his new mitten as his other hand and it's a cam and apparently his team is called stackers see stackers and his hand has a letter s on it he's a good character if most of you want a baseball team I think there's another baseball guy who had uh, a bat, so maybe you can add him to his, to this guy's team. And for most of you who want to feel him, try feeling for his mitten and his cat. Yeah, quite a good character for a baseball team. And next time on this will be the trendsetter. This one. The trendsetter. Yeah, she is. The trendsetter. When I first saw her, I thought she was Paris Hilton, but her real name is the Trendsetter. And look, she is a, has a new hair piece, I think. It's a nice hair piece. And her sunglasses. And also has a Chihuahua dog. I think it's a Chihuahua. And she also has uh, a new phone. See, a phone. There's the word. Oh, there's a word BFF, I don't think you can see it, but it's called BFF, and LOL, which stands for LOL, in short form, and it means a laughing, laugh out loud, and BFF means best friend forever, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Her dog is quite nice, it's a bit rubbery, see, but I most of it's not rubbery. And for those of you who want this trend setup, feel for her hair piece and if most of you have good fingers and hands you can feel for her iphone and you also can feel for her dog yeah she's a good character i like her she's okay and she also has like a little heart piece pink thing on her shirt so yeah she's a good character typical lego city character and the next one on our list, and the last one for me, is the painter. And here he is. Here is the painter. When I first saw the painter on the box, I was like, oh, okay, I can just feel for this roller thingy. See, his roller. But he also has a bucket, which I never knew until I found him. He's a good character, actually. He has a... But the sad thing about this character is that he only is limited to using this blue paint with this color. Because that's what on his body. But maybe he can replace this blue thing with green or whatever color you want. And pretend like he was on a really hard blue painting job. And for this bucket, you can remove this thing. And then if you want a handle, you can get the Bumblebee Girl. Take the pot out, and then after that, take out the handle, and then you can attach it, like how you attach to the bucket. But except this one is like a honey pot. 
thing and there. See, it's now attached. It's a handle. So, for those of you who want a handle for your honey girl's pot, you can get this handle from the painter. And so, the painter, if you really want him, um, you can get him by feeling his bucket or maybe this weird handle thing. You also can feel his hat and you also can feel his blue paint roller thingy and his face is a nice face a little beard thingy and you can roll this thing and that is all for my Lego minifigures series 10 um i like to tell you how many characters are there per box and so for Medusa there's only two of her per box on the internet it says so two of her per box only so you have to be very fast <coughs> and lucky to feel for her tail and it must be very quick otherwise other people may guess it and then the Roman commander there's only six of him per box which is quite surprising there's six of him meaning that he's quite common but I can't really feel him, which is weird. And next is the warrior woman. There's four of her per box, even though I cannot feel her most of the time. And the next one is the tomahawk warrior, or the Native American Indian. There's four of him per box. Yeah, four. Same as the warrior woman. And the skydiver. There's also six of him per box, which is pretty obvious why there's six of him per box. And next is the Bumblebee Girl, two of her per box, only two, two. And the uh, Grandpa, only two per box. And the Pinball Player, also only four per box. And the Sea Captain, two per box, two per box. Mime, or the Sad Clown, four per box. The Revolutionary Soldier, I think it's four per box, correct me if I'm wrong. A baseball person, there is six of him per box. The trendsetter, there is two of her per box. And the painter, there is four of him per box. So, for those who are two per box, is Medusa, the Bumblebee Girl, Grandpa, um, trendsetter, and also... Yeah, that's all there is for two per box, I think. Also, the librarian is two per box. There's only two librarians per box. And the sea captain is also two per box. These are all the characters two per box, that's all. For the, uh, the librarian is also two per box. And for four per boxes, there is the Tomahawk Warrior or the Native American Indian. Um, there is the paintball player paintball player and there's also revolutionary soldier and the painter and the sad clown that's all and also not to forget the warrior woman and that's about the four per boxes and now for the six per boxes there is um Baseball, a Skydiver, a Roman Commander, or the, the Motorcycle Mechanic, there's also six of him per box, and that is all for the entire Series 10 Minifigures collection. I hope you enjoyed this series. Um, my opinions on this series is, it's a good series, um, not the best actually. But it's still very nice. And the colour of the box for the series is a nice gold colour. Not to be not to be confused with series one yellow colour. And here are the first six people. So thank you, YouTube and goodbye.